Hey guys, even here, today is Sunday, one day after the Mr. Olympia, and now when all dust is settled, not all of it, not really, but most of it, we got a couple of very interesting things to talk about, and I would like to start this video with a Derek Lansford update, our new Mr. Olympia, who shut down his Instagram, that's right. He suspended his IG account, you cannot find him on Instagram, which is kind of hilarious because the biggest criticism that he received after winning the title was that it was given to him because he is active on social media. So it's kind of ironic that he deleted his social media right after he won the show. But I understand that because there is a whole bunch of things like this one circling around the internet. In my video, in my recap of the Mr. Olympia, basically I said that like I didn't expect this to happen, but I can see it. I can see why it happened. And I was talking about the physiques, the way Derek looked, not only because he's a better ambassador for the sport. I said shows are won from the back and Derek absolutely nailed it from the back, he destroyed everybody and I guess it was close enough in the front and the side shots for Derek to take the overall win. However, once again, there is a whole bunch of photos and comparisons like this one circling around the internet and people leaving comments about how much harder Hardy actually was in the front shots and also in the side shots. I mean, this comparison here, for example, is not fair, not really, because the quality of the camera is just much better on the hottest photo, and also the angle and the lighting is not the same, but yeah, I get what everybody is saying, and guys, I mean, let's face it. Hadi was not a good ambassador for the sport in the past year. He did nothing for bodybuilding. And bodybuilding, Mr. Olympia, IFB Pro League, it's all a business. And it's really hard to grow the sport, to grow the popularity, if your ambassador doesn't speak English at all. Not one bit. He needs to have a translator with him to translate the questions and the answers at the press conference. He doesn't post anything on social media with caption, without caption. If he wins the Mr. Olympia, he needs to rely on his coach to give a victory speech. Guys, come on. I mean, I know he's not American. He is not a native English speaker. He doesn't need. He doesn't absolutely necessarily need to speak English. He can speak Iranian, I guess that's fine, but if he doesn't speak English, it's really hard to promote the sport at all. And I'm sure him being the Mr. Olympia for the past year did nothing, no good for bodybuilding, in, in US especially, in, in the world. Maybe he did something in Iran, but that's about it. And that's not their target audience. Their target audience is in the West. So they were looking, they were, they were hoping that there's gonna be somebody who is close to Hari Japan. If somebody is close, they would give it to him. And they did. And it was close. It really was close. But I still thought Hari was better than Derek. I mean, I would give it even to Samson because I like Samson's physique. I love the way it flows. I love the fact that he's a big man. But yeah, I can see. I can, I can agree with Samson being in third. More than I can agree with... Uh, Derek beating Hadi. I just didn't see it that way. And I hate to criticize Derek. I like him as a person. He's gonna be a great ambassador for the sport. But I'm just I'm just being honest. I have to be honest. I didn't see it this way. I definitely didn't see Derek beating Hadi. I thought it was close, but mm, I didn't see it this way. No, unfortunately, I am one of the people who believe that they gave it to Derek because he's a great ambassador for the sport. And he is really. He is very well spoken and he knows to say the right thing. And I think he's gonna stay at the top for a long time because of this mainly. They want somebody like this at the top. As long as he can be consistent and you know show up looking pretty good, you know, he's gonna be winning titles for a long time, if you ask me. Now, after Hadi was announced as the runner-up, he just took one quick photo and got away from the stage. And they were asking him to come back to take more photos. He was like, no. And as you can see, Derek was surprised. He was really surprised. And I'm sure, that, as you can see in his reaction, he was really surprised. And I'm sure this didn't really feel that good. I mean, it's not Derek's fault that they chose him. He did everything. He did everything it took. He gave 100% into this. He made a lot of progress from last year. And it was enough to win this show. Now, how much it helped that he's a good ambassador? I don't know. We don't know. He doesn't know. Maybe it actually didn't at all. I forgot to mention the other point that I made in my previous video. And it's that maybe they punished Hadi for, you know, having Sintel in his delt and arms. 
It didn't look that bad in the videos and the live stream and the photos. Maybe it was different in person, maybe it was worse in person, and it was a determining factor of whether he's gonna win the Mr. Olympia or not. But let's take a moment and let's admire this photo right here, this most muscular. Look at this freaking hardness. God, I mean, look at the abs, the chest, the, 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 the quads. I mean, this guy was really, really on. He was hard as nails and also full and big. And maybe his back wasn't as good as Derek's, but it was pretty good. It was improved. Yeah, I thought he was going to place ahead of Derek this year, but yeah, apparently I was wrong. Why? That is the question. So Hardy was definitely very much upset here, but he showed poor sportsmanship. He left the stage like this. It was, it was not very nice of him. And he trained with Derek. They actually trained together. They are prepped by the same coach. I thought they were fine. I thought they were like friends. But I guess Hardy was just not ready to give up his title. And this is the photo that Chris posted. Now here you can see both Mr. Olympia winners of Honey Rambert, the classic physics Mr. Olympia winner Chris Blumstead and the Open winner. However, last year Derek was in the photo, even though he didn't win the Mr. Olympia, but he was there and Hardy was there. This time around, Hardy didn't show up for this photo. So once again, man, poor sportsmanship, poor sportsmanship. I don't like this at all. After the Mr. Olympia, of course, Derek was asked this question, what he thought about Hardy's reaction. And here is the answer. Before I play it, I'll just tell you, I'll play just the first part, because like 90% of it is just politically correct answers. <laughs> he issued a really nice statement, let's put it that way. And it is good, it's, it's awesome, I liked listening to it. You know, he's very pleasant to listen to. Very, very politically correct, like really well-spoken, awesome, awesome representation for bodybuilding, I like it. But maybe it's a little bit boring for this type of video, so I'll just play the first part of the clip. Uh, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, how did that hit you? Uh, well, I mean, I was I was surprised. You know, I didn't think that would be the reaction. But look, this is not easy. We all pour our heart and soul into this, and I got. And then he goes on and talks about how it is hard to prep for a bodybuilding show, how everybody wants to win and they're not happy when they lose, and he lost last year and he, he thought he had it, blah, 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 blah. But what he says in the beginning is that he was caught by surprise. He didn't expect Hari to react that way, and that is the interesting part to me. Now, I'm showing you this photo because this is basically another thing that people are talking about when it comes to criticizing Derek Lansford, and that is, well, there's a couple of things. First of all, these bumps uh, on his lats. What the hell are these? I have no idea. I mean, some people are saying it's Intel. I wouldn't say it's Intel. If it is, it's poorly done. I'm guessing it's just his injection spot. He injects right here, and he injects a lot, and it didn't go away. I mean, I guess that's it, but it was visible, it was definitely visible, you can see it in the videos, you can go and watch other videos, you will see it, like, it's not photoshopped or anything like that, it was there. And it kind of negates my argument that uh, Hardy lost because he had similar issues, so if Derek had the same issues and he won, that, I guess, doesn't really matter that much. To make matters even worse, Hardy posted this, he wrote this on his story, and here is the translation. I am ashamed and disappointed because of losing in front of my beloved country and beloved people I ran. I fought with the whole world, I could overcome many things, but I don't know why I lost this game. Just showing my sad emotions, nothing disrespectful. Please forgive me if I couldn't bring the win that you, win for Iran, deserve it. I'm just ashamed that I couldn't do it. Though I worked very hard. Uh, and then he also says, this doesn't necessarily mean that I quit. So it might mean that he is quitting. I mean, I don't think so. I don't think he's gonna quit, but he is obviously very, very upset. He did not take this uh, lose very well. I mean, he is a poor loser, that's for sure. And yeah, as you can see, he is not happy at all. Like, he is really pissed off. He didn't say here anything specifically about uh, believing that he was robbed. Even though his reaction seemed like he meant that, but yeah, he says in the in the caption nothing disrespectful. But I don't know if it was really nothing disrespectful. He says also that uh, he doesn't understand how, why he didn't uh, win. 
So yeah, I think I think he believes that he was robbed because he is not from USA and Derek is and Derek is a better ambassador. I believe that's what he's thinking and he might be right. Whatever you guys think, let me know down below. All right, the next story is about Hassan Mustafa who actually suffered a tricep tear only one week before the Mr. Olympia. So the question is, is this the reason why he was so horribly off with his conditioning? Well, it seems like it turns out it's not because this is what he says in the caption. So he says, although I got this tricep tear just over a week ago, I managed to step on the stage in the best shape of my life. Hopefully it's a small injury that will heal fast, but the timing of it was horrible and it made peak week a lot more stressful. P.S. I gradually got up to 150, which is a usual weight for me. I lifted 125 dumbbell the set before and it felt light, plus it was the last set of the exercise that day. So, yeah, it's first of all, it's really weird that he says that this was his best shape, best shape of his life. Was it? I mean, take a look at this. I mean, I know that he is kind of known for always competing at a six weeks out conditioning, but he brought better conditioning before. I mean, he won that Puerto Rico and another show, I think 2021, he won two shows and he was shredded. Smaller than usual, but shredded. And I think that was the best Hassan Mustafa. This year, he barely managed to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. He was off almost the entire season. I think he tightened up a little bit for one Cooper Pro and he won that show. But he lost to Phil Klahar, for example. And he, he's not supposed to lose against guys like Phil Klahar. I mean, that guy is over 50. And he beat him because of conditioning. So, like, uh, even though he's really massive, really big, really freaky... He almost never brings conditioning. I mean, AJ Sims got him shredded that one year, and that was it. He was smaller than before, so he probably didn't like the look, but that's real. That's realistic. He's not really this big. He can be if he doesn't diet, and here he looked like he doesn't even diet. He looked horrible with his conditioning. This is definitely not his best conditioning ever. I thought the tricep tear was an explanation for why he was so off, but he says he managed to bring his best conditioning ever. So, yeah, I guess it didn't really affect him that much. And you guys probably know that uh, Dorian Yates tore his tricep, I think, before, I think, 1996, Mr. Olympia. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, he just kept prepping. He wasn't training his upper body. I think he trained his one side. He trained legs and he did cardio and he still was on a diet and, and nobody really noticed. And he won the Mr. Olympia and he was peeled. So, I mean, it depends on how bad the injury is, but Hassan thinks he brought his best conditioning ever, so apparently it didn't affect his conditioning. And here is the video, by the way, so yeah, this is a heavy, heavy dumbbell for pullovers, but he is incredibly strong, and he is doing this with a lot of control, and if you go to his IG and you listen to this video, he actually screams when it happens, so it was a, it was a pretty bad tear. Uh, but yeah, once again, he explained in, in the caption that this is not too heavy for him. So I don't think he was doing something crazy, something stupid one week out. He was just training regularly. Maybe he should have trained lighter one week out, but he wasn't hitting a PR. So yeah, I mean, I think it was just wear and tear and just being dry. But I don't know how dry he was because once again, his conditioning wasn't really like he wasn't peeled. You know, he looked six weeks out. Let's be honest. But whatever, it happened for whatever reason, and uh, I guess it didn't affect him that much. Hopefully he will heal fast. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Tell me what do you think. Tell me what do you think about Derek winning once again, and uh, Hadi's reaction, and uh, all this, this fuzz. The fact that Derek deleted his Instagram, what uh, Hadi said about the whole thing afterwards. Whatever you think, guys, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best, and bye-bye.